Hello. 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 I can't get your name. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, a, a little bit. Um, Mommy. Little bit. Um, can't really hear fully. Uh, you want to speak again? Okay. Do you, do you hear me? Um, any possible way you can increase your volume? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, try now. How about now? Yes. Okay. Yes, that seems a bit better now. Yes. Well, how are you, Jackie? I don't think I've heard or taught you before. This is the first time. I think. Yes. Yes. How are you? No, are you okay? <laughs> I'm I'm fine, thank you. This is my first time that I ha that I have attended your class. Oh yes, yes. Okay, so you've been with Kalingo for a while. Yeah, not that much. Okay. Right. Okay. I just well, attended some few classes. Right. Okay. No problem. Well, welcome to my class. My name is thank Sakina. You. I rarely do this time of the day. I'm more of a morning person, so uh, I really do it early in the morning. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So nice to meet you, Jackie, and welcome to the class again. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. And By the way, have... I have a question for you, if you don't yes. mind. Yes. Are you are you Muslim? Yes, I am. Yes. Yes. Uh, great. That's great. Yes, I'm from the UK, so I was born in the UK, um, yeah. and my father was South African, so hence why this is why I have the, the, the tan skin, and my mom is Irish, so I have okay. half Irish, half South African blood in me, and then I'm a Muslim, of course, so yeah. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, mm -hmm. and we have Servet. Welcome, Servet. How are you? Hello. I'm Hello. Hello. I'm good. How are you, servants? Good to see you on here. Servants, my regular student, Jackie. Um, <laughs> so he comes. He comes every morning to my class because I usually do early mornings. So servant is always there. So it's good to see you on here, servant. Did you guys? Are you guys having a good weekend? Are you doing anything? Uh, yes, we yes. do. Uh, what you are doing is just. My mother is having a good weekend. Uh, she is inviting a lot of people, and they are expelling me from home. Oh! And finally, this evening, and uh, can I lock myself into the room and <laughs> <just stay? laughs> Did no you more. go on Kalingo by any chance? Did you do a Kalingo class? 
No, because <laughs> I got expelled. You know, they don't feel comfortable when there's a man around. Oh, oh no. And I stay. Oh, I you stay in your you stay in your little hut, <laughs> your little bedroom. <laughs> okay, so you had a eventful weekend then so far. Yes. Mm. Well, I had a boring weekend. What about you, Jackie? How did you find your weekend? Well, we're still in the weekend. It is a Saturday, so we still have Sunday. It's been great. Yeah. For example, yesterday I went to the movies. Mm. What did you we, see, Jackie? We watched a movie, a comedian movie. Uh -huh. It was great. Mm. Oh, wow. Um, so where are you coming from, Jackie? Sorry, where's your country? Well, I'm from Morocco, but currently living in Mexico. Wow, okay. Did you say New Mexico? Sorry? Did you say New Mexico? No, I'm from Mexico, the country. Oh, oh yes, I know, I know, because Daniel, he is... Um, He's 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 working in Mexico City, so that's my boss, my superior. Ah. Yeah, so that's why All I was right. asking if it, if it's Mexico City or New Mexico. I always get confused between the two. <laughs> no, I'm from uh, I'm from the north. Yeah, that's it's what I thought. It's a state called Nuevo León. Oh, that's I've never heard of that. It's located. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry. No, keep going. It's located. No, keep going. okay. It's located in the north of Mexico. Oh, okay, okay, very good. Well, I'm based, Jackie, in Northern Ireland. Um, I don't know, have you heard of Northern Ireland before? Yes, I did. Yes. Is it a part of the UK? Yes, it is, yes, yeah. It's a very small, um, like, island. It's like, it's an island between the UK and Northern Ireland. But um, we sound very different compared to the, uh, the British. So the yes. Northern Irish, we have a bit of a twang, and if you compare my accent to the Londoner accent, their accents is very different from yeah, mine. Yeah, there, there is some differences. Yeah, there is. Within the UK itself. Yes, yes, lots of differences everywhere yes. you go. Every single part of England, so if you go to London, it's different. If you go to Newcastle, it's different. If you go to Liverpool, yes, that's it's different. Right. Yeah. Well, anyways, well, it's great to uh, finally um, get to meet you anyway, Jackie. Thank we'll you. start with the lesson. And today, we're going to be talking about plastic bags. <laughs> plastic bags, are they useful for us or not? Um, so we're going to talk about that, the alternatives of using plastic bags. And the grammar will be the prepositions of place. And time. Okay, so we'll start off with a little warm up, guys. Um, excuse me, I just had a cup of coffee, so it's like, oh, I have that awful taste in my mouth of coffee, but I still drink it anyways. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's start the warm up, guys. Uh, what times of the day, if you do clean, what times of the day do you clean the house? So, Servant, we'll start with you. I know your mom cleans. But I'm sure you clean, don't you, sometimes? Yes, I do, I do. I do. Usually, like, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., maybe. Yeah. Around these times. Okay. Is it every day or just weekends? I guess uh, once in two days. Every, oh, okay. two, every second day or every other day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then you're better than me because I, I only clean my house every Saturday <laughs> from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. What about you, Jackie? <laughs> what times of the we day do, do you that clean your house? Every, let's say, every Monday in the morning. Every Monday, okay, in yes. the morning. Right. Yes. And what time, um, if you can remember, do you clean? Usually between, between 8 and 10. 8 and 10, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people would prefer to clean early in the morning. I don't know, it's probably better to get it out of the way so you can just relax and sit yeah. down on your sofa to a clean sitting room. So I think and at the same time, exercising. 
Yes. At the same time. Yes. I like it. Yes, you know, like hoovering. Well, I don't hoover my house. My husband hoovers. So I, I leave that to my husband, the hard work I leave. Like, I mean, in terms of hoovering, it's good for the exercise. Yes. And scrubbing, scrubbing, it's good for the arms as well. So, yeah, it's good exercise, definitely. definitely. Yes. Okay, guys, that's good to hear. So let's uh, I want you guys to have a look at the article um, about the plastic bags. Who's that lovely dog barking? Oh, sorry. It's no, it's okay. Um, <laughs> is it a problem? Uh, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I hope it's not disturbing. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, we'll thank you. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so guys, I'm going to screen share the document, um, and I want you to see the article. What I will do, I will send you the link of the article itself. Okay, um, get it open. Um, Are you okay. playing rugby, teacher? Me rugby? No. <laughs> the numbers on your. I know. So Chicago. <laughs> no, it's just it just says ch uh, Chicago. It's really I don't know. It's like it's a very cheap T-shirt. Like I don't even know what it stands for. I just bought it because it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. I yeah. look like a rugby player. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't like rugby. Oh, I hate rugby. Oh, God. I cannot stand it. Well, listen, guys. I've sent you the link. Okay, and have a have a open. So if you can open it. Um. Okay. You guys all have it opened? Yes. Yes. Excellent. So what I'll do, I will get you guys to read, if that's okay. Would you like to read, or would you prefer me to read? I know, Survey, you like to read. What about you, Jackie? Yes, I would yeah. like to read. Excellent. Okay, so the article title is Plastic Bags. What are the alternatives? Okay. So who would like to start reading? Okay, I'll start. Okay. So you can start from Anne, all right? Okay, just a moment. Well, an average European uses almost 200 throwaway plastic bags a year. Almost a million tons of plastic bags are produced in the European Union, but only 6% of, the, of them are recycled. Europe's lawmakers are looking for alternatives to using plastic and reducing the waste and litter that comes with them. Okay, keep reading. Oh, what happened, Servant? Uh oh. Oops. Oops, something. <laughs> He was just reading and then all of a sudden, okay. <laughs> he dropped, oh my god. I think, yeah, I think something happened maybe with his computer, I'm not sure. I could just hear the dog bark and, you know. Mm. Oh, he'll probably come back, don't worry. Will you want to take over, Servant? Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, many countries around the world have been fighting against the use of plastic bags. In some countries, for example China or South Africa, very thin plastic bags are banned. In Bangladesh, they clog up the sewers. Last year, Italy banned plastic bags that are not made out of organic substances. substances. Some countries have prohibited the use of plastic bags altogether. In the United States, however, there is no real regulation and some supermarkets offer them while others don't. Okay, before you uh, move on, um, Servet, is there any words that you need to maybe discuss that you're unaware of? Yes, clog up, sewers. Okay, uh, okay, well first clog up, it's basically, um, you know, if you have too much of something in a tube, Mm -hmm. um, it gets clogged, so there's too much in it, and it cannot um, penetrate through. Um, if I can try and give you an example. Um, it's like to pile up 
Yeah, it's like to pile up and basically it can't perform its function properly because of this clogging, you know? Uh, yeah. So can oh. we use this uh, for if you, you know, vacuum cleaners have some yes. kind of push in it? it Yes, clogged up. Yes, so you can see um, the dust has clogged up in the hoover. It needs to be removed. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes, you got it. You actually have taken the words out of my mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you can say that clogged up, yeah. But you instead of using clog, it all depends on your sentence structure. You would add the GED, clogged. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, and, oh, and sewers? So everybody has sewers, so all our waste from our body, excretion, it all goes to the sewers, from the toilet to the sewers. And this is where we see all our lovely waste from our bodies. So it all lands up there. Yeah. Uh, any other ones? Any other words? Yeah, I think no. Yeah. So far so good? Yes. Excellent. You want to keep reading or do you want me to read? It's up to you. Uh, oh, we have Jackie. Oh, sorry, Jackie. You're back. Sorry, yes. Jackie. <laughs> it was a connection problem. Oh, I know. I was just saying to serve it. Okay, he was reading the next minute. Uh, it okay. sounds like tough. <laughs> per you. Well, listen, you want to continue reading then? Um, so we stopped in okay, the we, paragraph. Yes, right? so if you can start in Ireland... Okay, let's locate that. In Ireland, the government introduced a 15 cent surcharge on plastic bags in 2002. Within a year, 90% shoppers of all shoppers started reusing their bags. Millions of euros earned by the tax have been used on looking for new ways of recycling. In Wales, shop assistants are threatened with a fine if they hand out plastic bags free of charge. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Do you, is there any words, guys, you need clarifying before we move on to the next paragraph? Jackie, are you okay? Any words you on where of? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah? Okay, excellent. Well, let me, guys, give you a break and I'll read for a change. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So, in contrast, experts argue that if shoppers use alternative, stronger bags, they must use them very often in order to compensate for more carbon used in production and transport. A cotton bag, for example, must be used over a hundred times to really be environmentally friendly. Food research. Food researchers see another danger. They claim that reusing bags could be a problem because harmful bacteria may be left behind in grocery bags. The European Union is looking at ways to cut down pollution from plastic bags. Bags made of corn are biodegradable on one side but produce methane gas on the other. Paper bags have been widely used in the United States. While being biodegradable, they have a stronger carbon footprint than normal shopping bags. In Europe, many, many shops are going back to paper bags, although environmental experts say that they are as bad as plastic ones. So, do you guys know the meaning of biodegradable? Yes. Yes? Yeah, Jackie? Yes, I, I just want to ask you about some a word uh-huh yes the word the adverb often I uh -huh. heard some people when they pronounce this word mm -hmm. they say often they drop yes. the sound T and yeah. I just want to know yeah if this difference depends on where you are from or it's general it all depends where you're from like um in the UK, well, some people in the UK say often. And some mm -hmm. people in Northern Ireland, where I come from, we actually say often. So we want to be quite sharp with our speech. But both ways are correct. Oh, okay. They're fine. Yeah, they're fine. It's just different accents. So it's just where you come from, really, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but if you stick to your way of how you pronounce it, don't let that change your way of pronouncing it. Okay? 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, any questions, guys, on the words? Sir, are you okay? Sir, charge means just to extra charge? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. That's right. Yeah. He dropped again. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just having a look, any more words you need to maybe? So you are in Ireland and you are not using plastic bags, right? Well, we do here in Northern Ireland, we have to pay 5p to use a plastic bag. Mm. So they've only recently brought this rule out maybe last year. So we have to bring our own bags now or else we have to pay 5p. And me, I, I usually tend to forget to bring my own bag, so I have to pay the 5p extra. Oh, yeah, the, because it, there is a big reason behind it. Um, a lot of people were just throwing plastic bags on the street, like they were clogging up the tunnels, they were clogging up the tubes, you know, and it was just, you know, the cats would get in the plastic bags and they would mm -hmm. suffocate. Many reasons why it has been... A band of free charge so a lot of people have to pay for them but I mean majority of the people they don't want to pay so they just bring their own environmental bags mm -hmm. instead yeah I want to ask you guys a question um, in regards to the article why do you think paper bags are as bad as plastic bags so in America they are using paper bags why do you think it's you know as bad as plastic bags. They mentioned cotton bag because of the usage of carbon transportation and production mm -hmm. for paper bags. Yes. I need to look it up. Um, is it in the article or not? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Testing your listening skills. <laughs> oh. ha have a look and see. Also, you can use your own opinion as well. It's part of the discussion. What about you, Jackie? Do you have anything you want to add? He dropped, by the way. He dropped as well. Oh, God, he said, I can't even see, sir, of it. It's like, because I'm not using the two monitors, it's so difficult because I'm mm -hmm. looking at the article now, so I can't see who's popping in. Ah, uh, I see. I know. Is there anything I can do to see? Uh, yes, you can do. You know, mm -hmm. what you can do is Minimize. To, no. No. Open the article, but... Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I smaller. have it opened. Uh -huh. Make it smaller and okay. move it above the Hangout screen. But you can still see the bottom at the bottom. Leave it someplace. Don't use the whole screen for the another window. Okay. I will show you what I will do. Yeah, maybe screen. I can get a link to do it. Maybe I can get a link to show me. Maybe he would know. Oh, okay. You see my second now. I am seeing the whole second. If I need to share this screen and want to see you again, I right. can do it this way. This in this part, I can see the hangout, uh -huh. and this part. I can see the document. Oh, okay. I get you what you mean. Yes. Yes. I understand. Yes, I should have used that actually. God. Yeah, I need to get back into the computer mode. So I need to. Big time. There's so many simple things that you can do with computers you don't even realize. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, thank you so much. You are a star. Thank you. You are a star. I am. <laughs> God, I'd be lost without you with the computers. Jeez. Okay, well, listen, let's quickly uh, move on, okay, because uh, I need to finish my whole lesson. I've got lots of questions to ask you. Okay, so since it's just me and you, <laughs> um, what about, um, okay, so banning plastic bags. Do you think it's beneficial to the environment and why? What do you think? This is your opinion, your opinion. Yes, uh, I think plastic bags are really bad because we are not recycling them. According to the article, just 5% or 6% mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. 
of them are being recycled. Mm -hmm. The very small percentage are plastic isn't biodegradable. Mm -hmm. So it is harmful. Yes, and it is. We need to use something else like fabric uh, mm -hmm. pochettes or fabric bags mm -hmm. to replace it and cottons. Mm -hmm. Paper bags are also harmful, I guess, because it, it, they are made of trees, so you have to cut down trees. Yes, that's and true. Also they also say that they have a large carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. Well, it is bad again. Mm -hmm. The best thing is fabric thing, fabric bags. Yes, okay, that's well. true. Like in Turkey, um, do they ban the plastic bags, or do you have to pay, or is it free in Turkey? Yes, I was gonna say say to you. Mm -hmm. There's there's a place place that sells bread. It's a big company. It belongs to municipal government. Yeah. In that place, they didn't use to give pushet. You, ha you had to bring your own pushet or bag with you when you buy something. Then they change it. Now they give it for free. Oh, so they've <laughs> changed it now, and now you don't have to pay. Yes. Now oh. they give it for it. The, the opposite one. That's why. That's so it. strange. God, it's yes. like. You know, like you know, before we didn't have to pay, and now we have to pay five p. But in England, in England itself, like London, Liverpool, etc., yeah. you have you don't have to pay. There's no charge. You have free bags. So when I went to England for a holiday, for Eid, um, I went to the supermarket and I said to myself, "Oh no, I forgot to bring my plastic bags." Yeah. Divvy me. And then the lady was asking me, um, do you want me to pack for you? And I was like, uh, but how much are the bags? And she's like, no, it's free here. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so that's when I knew, okay, obviously they haven't started charging yet in England. But I think they will soon, though. They will soon. If On, no, the, yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, have you noticed in the article they say they specifically banned uh, very light and unsturdy mm. plastic pochette. It's also strange because yeah. plastic bags aren't uh, cool and people won't use it twice I guess even though it is sturdy mm -hmm. and thick. So yes. it, is, it will be worse to produce thicker plastic bags because people will throw them away again. They won't use it, I guess. That's so right. I think like paper bags are just useless. I think it's better to get, you know, the environmental bags, the mm -hmm. actual durable ones where you can use them over and over and over again. Like a lot of people use them in Northern Ireland. They have like a big durable bag and all they put all their shopping inside. So I think that's perfect. But with paper bags, no, I don't agree with that. What's the way yeah. for? Or plastic bags, no. I, I remember not for sh no shopping malls. Mm -hmm. We had like outside bazaars, mm -hmm. local shops on the outside, and people used to have kind of bags mm -hmm. that have wheels, like uh, like really? baggage. You know, you know, like you, when you travel, you have baggage. Yes, Something I've seen like that. that. Yes, they have that here as well. A lot of elderly people use that. Yes, and yeah. people don't use it. Don't use them anymore. It is also strange. Maybe we should turn yeah. back to use them if you need. Uh, no, it is handy. No, I, I think um, the elderly people where I live, where I come from, they mm -hmm. use it because it, you know they need extra, you know, push. Mm -hmm. So they have a little trolley and they have a bag and they just push, you know. So I, I, I still think people are using it here, but it's not the youth like us. It's the elderly people that are using it, of course. Yes. But yeah, but it is it, it is good in a way that they're doing that with the plastic bags, I suppose. Yeah, because you know? in the past, they, people had to walk to stores mm -hmm. so that these trolleys were pretty useful in terms of they were environmental friendly because mm. you don't have to get 
plastic bags and also you don't get to carry them. Yeah, that's you put true. Them you just push the bag. But now shopping mm. malls have cars, free cars. Mm. They get they take you from your home. They take you to the mall and mm. they turn you back so you can't really use this trolleys. Mm -hmm. you know, it is extra weight for you. It's yeah, that's true. Anymore. On the other hand, it the car is already take bringing it to your home. Yeah, you don't that's need, true. Mm. You can carry your pushets for 10 meters or 20 meters. It won't be a problem. Yeah, you wouldn't really go so far away with the trolley. Like you probably just yeah. go maybe a distance. If you live maybe five minutes away from home or 10 minutes, then that's okay. But if you're living half an hour away from home, then you'll have to take your car. <laughs> then, yeah, you know. But we live maybe from our supermarket, we'll probably live about 10 minutes. Because we live in the countryside. You know, I have the big lake behind my house, serve it. So we live in the middle of nowhere. All we can see, if I look outside my window, I see cows, I see sheep. So it's a countryside. It gets depressing, though, sometimes. <laughs> It, is, it must be so green that what? Oh, it is very green. Oh my God, the animals are just loving it. <laughs> They're loving the green grass, anyways. But let's well, let, let's move on to the grammar. Serve it, okay? Now, serve it. Is your name Servet or Serve? Sir is English. In Turkish, letter uh -huh. E is E, like. Oh, I'll serve it. Serve it. Is that right? Ah, okay. Bad. So what would you like your teachers to call you? The world's best student. The world's best student. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of name, Servet now. So what, is it okay for me to call you Servet? Call cool, whatever you want. It's okay. Yeah. People call okay, me that's everything. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's all right then. In as the long beginning, as you used to say, mind. ah. Don't you remember? You don't see. I know. Ah. I used to say "ah" to you, and then I was—I heard Elaine uh, calling your name, and he was like, "I thought it was ah." <laughs> so he put the name for in front, and I was like, "No, I think it's Sarah." And I was like, "Oh, great! I'm calling him the surname instead of the first name." Uh, that's not happened to me the first time, anyway, Sarah. Oh, Jackie, I'm so sorry about your internet connection. Can you hear us? Mm. Okay, so let's get started anyway, Jackie, and serve it, okay? So let's do the hi, grammar. Hi, sir. Uh, hi, Jackie. I'm so sorry <laughs> about your internet connection. Thank you. Don't worry. Um, we're just, I'm sorry you missed the article. Um, we're just going to move on to the grammar, okay? Um, but we were just talking about plastic bags, you know, um, the benefits of plastic bags, not being around and having to pay for them. Okay. Yeah. So in your country, um, do you also have to pay for plastic bags? No. No, you're free? You get them for free? Yes, that's right. Oh, that's great. Look at you. <laughs> they even prohibited black plastic bags. Black, really? Yeah. Yes, they're forbidden. Why? They no oh. longer use them because they think it's they are toxic. Right, that's interesting. So, what yeah. about you know your garbage bins, the big garbage bins in your house? Yeah. You know when I when I use my garbage bin, I have a black bin liner. What do you guys use then? A white one, obviously. Hmm. It depends. Some people can, use red, others use blue. It depends. Mm, but are they durable, like the black ones? Yes. They are. Okay, well, that's okay then. Maybe as long as you have the durable ones, then that should be okay. But that's strange, isn't it? Now, it hasn't been banned in our country yet. <laughs> we still have them. I think we're going to have them for a long time. <laughs> You know what yeah. we do here? We use the pochettes that we get from supermarkets mm -hmm. or trash. So when you throw it to uh, 
when you throw it away in the boxes where they recycle the things, so mm -hmm. it automatically goes there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't uh, we don't buy at least we my family don't buy pushes specifically for trash. You know the pushes big pushes for trash. We don't yes. buy them. We I use the pushes. Okay. We use the pushes that mm -hmm. supermarkets give when we do shopping. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So this okay. way you get to throw away these pushes to recycling bins mm -hmm. and also you don't pay for other pushets. Oh, okay. That's interesting, isn't it? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, guys, so let's quickly move on to the grammar. Again, I am running out of time. I always I tend to over talk <laughs> and then I just enjoy talking, you know, discussion. I like to discuss. Yes, you are, you are you know? so talkative and friendly. We like to talk I to know, you. I know, it's we like, you know, it. it's like, I know, but you know how it is. You have the lesson plan, you have to get onto the grammar, and then you have to do your article. So we've done the article, we've done the discussion, so that's good. We're halfway there. So let's quickly do the grammar. Okay, talking guys. Talking so itself is interesting. Yes, it is, Jackie. I think it's really important. And yes. the lessons, yeah. You Grammar can, without talking is insufficient. Yes. Like, you know, Jackie and Servet, you know, I don't agree with just reading the article and then just moving on to the next part of the lesson. I don't agree with that. It's just, it defeats the perfect, pur purpose of reading. And, you know, you need to be able to discuss and talk mm -hmm. about the vocab and the benefits, you know, etc. Mm -hmm. So it is good to talk. Yes, I applaud. Yes. Yay! And then, of course, the grammar is important as well. That's definitely vital in our lesson. So, we're going to do the grammar, guys. So, can everyone see my grammar page? No, I see your awesome t shirt. Oh, really? Rugby t shirt. Let me do it again. <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay, now you shall see it. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys, so today the grammar is going to be about prepositions of time and place. So first, from and to are used for place and time. From is used when talking about origin. I am from Chile. I am leaving from my house in 10 minutes. From and to are used when talking about going from one location to another. For example, she is driving home from... She is driving home. Oh, she is driving from home to work. He will travel from Japan to Egypt. To is used to refer to the destination when traveling. For example, I will go to Japan. Jack is going to the mall. From and until are used when referring to a start and end point in time, just like with from and to. For example, I will be working from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. tonight. She is in Paris from June until July. Until can also be used to talk about an end point in time when something stops. For example, he will be working until 10 at night. Jack will be at the library until he finishes his assignment. So guys, can I maybe... Um, get some examples, maybe a sentence or two with using um, from and to. So anything maybe used to talk about something, a place and time, from and to. Yes. Yes, servant. Let's do... Colingo is teaching classes from... 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yes, very good, excellent. Good, good, good. And Jackie, what about you? Is Jackie still there? Yes. Here <laughs> yes. I am. <laughs> I'll start Maybe learning this. French from September until January, for example. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh huh. Yes, very good. Okay, let's move on. So can anyone read the next two sentences then with using through? So we know through is used for movement in place and time. 
So, Jackie, can you read the next two examples, please? I drove through New York to get to New Jersey. She walked through the park. Okay, and Sarah, you can read the next two. Michael Jackson was popular through 2008. We work through the night to finish the project. Yes, very good. So what about guys with using through? Any sentence you can think of from movement and place and time? Yes, I was moody one through 18 years old. Yes. Can you example, say it again? I was moody. One through 18 years old. Oh, I don't get you. Can you say it again? Sorry, sir. Can you write it in the chat box, please? Sorry. <laughs> I can always hear. I can always see it better when you type it in. Sorry, my hearing is really bad. <laughs> Jackie, do you, did you have one? Why, sir? It's typing it in. No. Sorry? Do you have a sentence with using through? Yes. yes. For example, Europe is going through a big recession. Yes, very good. It sure is, especially UK. It definitely is as well. I think South Europe is suffering too much, more yes. than not in Europe. Yes, that's right, that's right. Um, but you know, also UK, Jackie, it's really bad. Like, um, I I returned from Egypt last June, okay, and I have been applying for jobs full time and I cannot get any jobs. Oh. Yeah, and it's been a year now and still nothing. So it's really, really bad, the recession. And so there is too much unemployment. Yeah, it's a lot of people, you see a lot of people are trying to get into the UK as well, so they're stealing all the jobs. <laughs> and but, I think even people from some other countries in Europe move to the UK. Yes, like the Spanish, and there's a yes. lot of Greek as well, a lot of Greek that are moving into, I a lot of some, Polish. Yes, I met some Sp Spaniards who were going to, to the UK to yeah. find a job. That's true. I think, yeah, they eventually, they try and want, they want to learn English as well, and of course they want to find any part-time job, and then with that job they can maybe get a sponsor and then stay there. That's what they're hoping to do, definitely. Maybe, yes. Yeah, so it's really bad here as well, Jackie. It's unbelievable. Like, we're kind of thinking of going back to Australia if it's really bad, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, guys, so let's move on um, to the discussion questions, shall we? Okay, so um, the first question, we have one person here. Let me just on-screen share this for a minute. Okay, you're going to see me. Okay, hello, how are you? New person. Um, hello, hello, Skinner. How are you? How what are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you coming from? Sorry. Yes, I'm from Brazil. I live in Rio de Janeiro. I I have been studying English maybe a few few months, but in this moment I just entered in this class to show to my father the system of the Colingo class. My um, I am here with my father. Uh, Hello, father. How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh. What's your name? My father. My father uh, not speaking English. Oh, uh, we name okay. him. We name is Claudio because my name is Claudio and my father call it Claudio too. Claudio too. Well, welcome to the class, Claudio. My name is Sakina. Um, unfortunately, you're a bit late, Claudio. Naughty, naughty, um, but it's okay, you can observe. Um, we're just going through the discussion questions now. And um, so if you, can, if you want to observe or participate, it's up to you, okay? So let's just um, go.
go through these ones quickly. Okay, guys, so the first question, it's in relation to your own opinion, guys. You can think of your own way of explaining it. And, of course, when I give you the discussion question, if you can use the grammar skill that we were just going through before. Okay, um, so the first question, when do we have to stop using oil? When do we have to stop using oil? So, Servit, you want to take that? We need to stop using oil from the, the time when we notice that it is affecting our nature. Very good. Excellent, Servit. That was a very hard one as well. Well done. Knew you could do that one. Okay, next question. Jackie, you ready? Oh, yes. You'll be fine. Okay, how can people save on their electricity? So this is your opinion, Jackie. I think people will save for their electricity if they limit the usage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. When they, when they get out things that they don't necessarily need, Mm -hmm. For example, or when okay. they, that's my opinion. Yes, that's true. That's definitely true. And um, what about using a lovely preposition to support your answer, Jackie? Maybe if the government, if the government, if the government increases the charges for electricity, people mm -hmm. will be aware of how important it is mm -hmm. and thus they will save much. Mm -hmm. They yeah, will think okay. wisely before they use electricity. Yes, that's right. Very good but point I hope there, I, Jackie. Won't, but I hope it won't happen. Yes, I know, you're right. You know, you get, you do get worried and you do question yourself what is going to happen later on in life, maybe a decade from now, in terms of yeah. using the oil and electricity, etc. It's very scary. It is scary. And it's good to cut down on the electricity, definitely. Okay, very good. What about the next one, guys? Why are Europe looking for alternatives for plastic bags? So this was in the article. So if you guys want to maybe glimpse through the article again. So I'll ask the question again. Why are Europe looking for alternatives for plastic bags? Because people are using up Because only 6% of the bags are being recycled. They are all throwaway bags. Yes. So they're bad. They're very bad for the environment. Oh, terrible. What about you, Jackie? I think because they can spread harmful bacteria. Yes. Which is dangerous to people's health. Uh-huh. That's why they they even want to ban it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They also cause a lot of litter. Mm -hmm. um, to the streets, you know, um, and the animals are also, you know, a risk of these plastic bags. And yeah, it just doesn't look nice, of course, it really doesn't look nice. Okay, what about the last one, guys? So, what are the benefits of using reusable bags? So, the durable bags. So, instead of using paper bags, plastic bags, we have the reusable bags the biodegradable ones. So anyone have a benefit there? It's your personal opinion as well. You don't have to relate to the article. Well, yes, if they are paid, you don't get to pay for it mm -hmm. for a few times. But on the other hand, you get to buy one or two, I guess, uh, this reusable bags, mm -hmm. but when you do a lot of shoppings, you need more than a few 
x in order to prevent your vegetables from being squeezed yes. by tomato. So it's also a bit inconvenient, inconvenient mm -hmm. in some situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Jackie, what about you? I think the only advantage for reused bags is that they are free of charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is That's the only true. benefit. Yeah, and plus they are durable as well. They can last a long time. Yes. But it's just, yeah, like, you know, in my eyes, I think with using re reusable bags, it has maybe more disadvantages. It's very inconvenient, like Servet was saying. The inconvenience that just cause that's just caused, you know, when you go shopping. Because with me, guys, I always forget to bring my reusable bag. <laughs> so I always have to buy the plastic bag. So it's just, it's a matter of just getting used to bringing your reusable bags with you all the time. Oh, look, we have a video. Oh, you have Hi. <laughs> we have a party with Kalingo tonight. Woo. Everybody wants to learn English. Claudio. Good morning. How are you, girls? Uh, are hi. You hi. <laughs> I'm they're going to fight. Yeah, they're going to fight over the camera. Well, um, okay, let's move on to the assessment, guys. Okay. Um, okay, let's try this one. So the girls can help you with the assessment then. <laughs> Right, so the first one, guys. So, so basically, I want you to form a sentence with using from and to. Okay, so I'll give you a word, and you're going to form a sentence with these two. So, Jackie, I will give you Japan. 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 Yes. Okay. So, should I give you an example, including Japan? Yes, using, Yes, using <laughs> from or to. It's up to you. Okay. Do you want me to give you a minute, Jackie? Okay, if you want. I'll give you a minute, Jackie, okay? Servant, okay. I will give you Tuesday and Wednesday. From Tuesday to Wednesday, my mother is watching a TV series called Play or Don't Play. <laughs> play or Don't Play? Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> oh know. my god. You're very good at convincing servant. I want to be there. <laughs> a program with that name? Go on. For example, I will go from Morocco to Spain through the Moroccan borders or the Spanish Spanish borders. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yes, Jack. By by the way, it it is possible to to write the word through without U G H. Sometimes we see the word with just T H R U. Yes, that's right. Through. Through, like I threw a ball to yes. my nephew. Yeah. Is it informal? Um, through it's well, it's a verb. So you know, when you have t h r e w, it's a verb. No. So no, as well. No, sorry, I'm not talking about the verb. I'm talking oh, okay. about the preposition through. Oh right, through. Yes, yes. We can write it with just t h r u. Um, no, not really. Like I think it's no. That's abbreviation. Like if you're talking on the phone, if you're texting on the phone, and you want to abbreviate through, you can use that. But I mean, it is informal, and it's better to use the proper word. Okay. Yes. I just asked because I, I had seen a lot of use of this word in many articles. Yeah, no, I think it's better to use the T heart, the full word. 
Okay, yeah. thank the you. The formal way. Definitely always go the formal way. Even with when you have until, for example, when you have until and you have, okay? Double L. And yes, you should be using the until because till it's old and fashion old and fashioned way of saying till but a lot of people ask me do we use until or till it's better to use until yes always do it the formal way guys the okay. formal way all right okay so one more assessment question for you guys okay um right i will give you england jackie england so if you can use through with England. Okay. I'll give you a minute, okay? Okay. And Servet, I will give you July. 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 Can I say throughout? Well, we're not really using throughout the morning. Through. Maybe talk about your visit, maybe somewhere you went, I don't know, you went somewhere last summer. Okay, I... Take I your time, take your time. I scanned through July's documents, but I couldn't find your name. Okay, yeah. That's fine, yeah, very good. For example, the Jackie. UK the mm -hmm. UK had a lot of challenges during or through the Victorian era. Yes, very good, Jackie. That's a good one. Yep. Excellent. So you've used through very well. Okay, guys, so um we have one more last one, sorry guys. I thought that was the last one. With using by and until. Okay, so I will give Servet, so you're going to start first. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. By or until? Which one? It's okay, you can use by or until, it's up to you. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to sleep very well and <laughs> by. S s s snoring by until <laughs> 9 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Funny sentence. Okay. Is that true, Servet? I hope not. <laughs> okay. And Jackie, I will give you, you get married. You get married. But I'm already married. Okay. Let's pretend. <laughs> okay. Good. Then use by, my name. Okay. <laughs> by the end, by the end of the year, I will have been married. Okay. I use my name, man. <laughs> <laughs> so Very what's your good. real name? I don't know your real name. Don't you read it? Just ah, uh, uh, sir, uh, uh, just call me ah. Uh. Ah, uh, where are you from, by the way? I'm from Tajikistan. Ah, okay. Nice to meet but you. But I am living in Turkey, but currently I am in Ireland. You're in Turkey. Ireland. Okay, now he's lying. He's lying now. <laughs> guys, I thought you guys have actually, you know, you've met each other before. So if I hadn't have known that, I would have gotten you guys to introduce each other. Sorry. This because I rarely attend Kalingo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you've met Servet, and Servet, you know Jackie, so that's good. You guys know each other now. Okay. Well, listen, guys, I'll have to go because I have another class now. I have two lessons on the go today. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. So, listen, it was great teaching you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and you take care, and I will see you soon. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. Maybe Bye now, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.